Hey guys, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I'm a blonde, man. I'm a blonde, you know? And it's like, you know, I was talking to these people and uh, I was telling some of my friends, I said, man, I love blonde women. And my friends were like, you love blind women? And I'm like, no, blind women. And I'm like, okay, blind women. Yeah, they can't see me, man. So they know that I'm the man because they understand. You know, it's like, whoa, man. They know me, baby, you know. And I tell you guys, you know, I'm 49, pushing 50, and I found out something getting in this older age. And it is that the women out there that are like the same age as me, they get so mad at men who want to date somebody half their age or less. I mean, these women get so mad. It's like, you know what it is? It's like, with a young woman, you know what you're getting, man. You know what you're getting, you know? It's like, whoa, man, you know, you know what you're getting. But with an older woman, you get home, she takes off her face, and you're like, ah! You're running for the hills. She took off her face, man. There ain't no embrace tonight, girl. She took off her face, man. It's like, gosh, man, what is going on? She took off her face. Now I don't want to be in this place. I'm like, she took off her face, man. Hey, guys. You know, the... The thing to do out there when you're out there and you're walking down the street or wherever you are in life, it's always been the routine is when you walk up to somebody, it's like, it, it's kind of a routine. You walk up, you want to be nice, you know, be nice, talk to them. But the rule of thumb is to stay away from them an arm length distance. You want to stay away from this person arm length distance. That's the rule of thumb. It's always been that way, but I, me, I have always been ones, one to cross those barriers. I have always been one. Cross those barriers, get right in your space, you know. I've been always one to do that. And you know what that makes me is it makes me a groundhog. Man, I'm hogging the ground in your space, man. I'm hogging your ground. I'm a groundhog, man. It's like he's hogging my space. Come on, man. I'm hogging your space, man. I'm the groundhog. I'm hogging your ground. I'm hogging your ground. I'm hogging your ground. I'm hogging your ground, man. I'm the hound ground hogger, ground hogger. I'm hogging your space, man. I'm the groundhog. Hey guys, Daniel Songer, danpoetman.com. That's where my page is. And you guys can see my books. I wrote three books. Uh, first one, I'm a statue. Second one, Heaven's Headline News. And my third book, Jesus' Poetic Song. All poetry, song lyrics. Uh, I hope you get uh, joy out of my literary achievements, my friends. And hey guys, I wanted to talk about this one word and that word everybody needs to listen, man. Put your ears on, buddy. The word is communicate, communicate. We've got to communicate, man. Everybody's got to communicate. And back in my days, you know, when we would say, you know, hey, buddy, you got your ears on, you know, and they know, they know. That mean like, hey, are you in? Are you in? Are you in? You remember, it's all about you, man. Are you in? Are you out? Do you want to scream and shout? You know, it's all about communicating. And today, if I said to you, hey, buddy, you got your ears on, man? People would be like, man, I got my earrings on. My earrings are on. I got my nose ring on, man. It's like, whoa, man, we're living in the zone, man. Are you in? Are you out? Let's scream and shout.